Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to my outdoor adventure review channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Arctic Air inside of my vehicle. I am a car camper. I've also been a car dweller. And if any of you have done the same, you will know how important it is to keep the climate inside at a bearable temperature. I also have a little kitty traveling with me, Lila. So it is even more important to keep the climate cool inside for her. I do have some window shades on the vehicle right now so that it will help the temperature, but it is 85 degrees in there right now. And I have my car in the sun for the solar panels because I do have refrigeration in there and a battery in there. So let's go on in and give this a try and see if this could be an option for keeping cool in a vehicle. We are now inside and the temperature is quickly rising. So we're going to do this very fast. Some information about it from the box is that it lasts up to 10 hours on one fill. It has four speeds. It's a quiet operation, lightweight and portable, and it only has pictures of people indoors using it. It's got an air purifier, power adapter, so it does run on a traditional 110 plug, does not have a 12 volt option. So information, it's got a filter that you will want to freeze it, so we'll probably do that later or put it in the fridge. You pre-soak it, place in the freezer, and then it's much cooler for you. Okay, quick start. All right, so this completely comes off and it's very small in there. Uh, so here's the power port. Okay, so it pulls out like this and then there is the filter. So we will probably do this uh, after I film this initial portion and come back to this. And here's my cool water from the fridge. It is dark in here because I have it kind of darked out, blacked out as much as I possibly can. Okay. Oh, there is an ice cube in here. Yay. I'm going to take out that ice cube. I do have a freezer option in my fridge. So here is an ice cube. Thank goodness. That should help. All right. And okay. So that fills it up nicely. And now let's turn this on. Okay, I'm going to shut the door now that I have the fan on. You take this out of your way, Lila. Okay, it would be much better, I'm sure, if I had the filter wet. Okay, let me see if this is all the way up. Oh! Look at that, it changes colors. Off. Said it had four. One. I hit it again, two. Three. Four. That's off. Okay, on. There's one. Two. Three, four. That's not four. That go turns off on the third. Let me turn this off again. Okay, that's off. There's no light. On, one, two, three, Four off. That is off a adjustable speed? I don't think so. That's three. I don't know what the dealio is. Okay, we're just going to let that go for a while. 
it is 87 degrees in here now. We will come back in about 10 minutes and see how things, how much things have cooled down. It's been 10 minutes and it is now 89 degrees in here. I filled up another bag of water to put in here. At this point, I'm going to say that I don't like this any better than my fan, just a regular fan that I can use. It feels a little bit cool out of here, but I don't notice that it's any different from a fan. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wet the filter down and then put it in the freezer for a couple hours. We'll come back, see what the temperature is inside and give it another try. And we're back. It's actually been three hours. I wanted to give enough time for the water to ice up as much as it could and give the filter enough time to cool as well. It has cooled off in here. It is currently 77 degrees, okay? I will put the water and filter in here and then I'll probably run it for about 20 minutes. So there are icicles in there. Very nice. Put that on. When I ran this earlier, it ran at 42 watts power consumption. We will just let this go and then see how much it's cooled off from 79 degrees and it is currently 451, so we will be back at 511. And we're back. It's been a little over 20 minutes, uh, about 25 five minutes, and it is 84 degrees in here. I would say adding the ice and a frozen filter, somewhat frozen, really did help it a lot. Would I call this Arctic air? Absolutely not. It feels slightly cooler than a fan. Is this worth the investment for car dwelling, van dwelling, van life, car, car life? No. Maybe it'll take the edge off, but I don't think it has enough juice in it to really make a difference in a vehicle. Would this work inside, indoors? I don't know. You be the judge of that. Maybe some of you have tried it indoors. If you have, comment below. If you have any other options for cooling off in a car or a van or while camping in a tent, please comment below. I would love to review it. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.